Hey, what's up guys? It's Larry, the mortgage guy, uh, sales disruptor. Today, I'm gonna talk about crossover. Uh, and I'll explain to you what I mean. When I used to be, well, I still do it, but when I, when I read comic books back as a kid, one of my favorite things would, that would happen would be crossovers. What I mean by that is you'll have like a Batman uh, comic book that is part of a larger story and you would read another part of that story in a Superman comic book, and then you'll read another part of the story in a Wonder, Wonder Woman comic book. So literally, to get the full story, you had to buy different comic books from other uh, titles. See, I always read Batman. I didn't care about anything else. I thought Superman was lame. Wonder, Wonder Woman's cool, but she's basically Superman. Uh, so Batman was my guy, but... If I wanted to know the whole story that Batman was involved in, I had to go buy a Superman book and I had to buy Wonder Woman. So I would. And that would be called a crossover, right? I think the same thing can be applied in social media marketing. I'll give you an example. Let's pretend I'm a mortgage guy, which I am, and I'm working with a realtor who's also privy to the crossover mindset. And let's say we're going to have a closing. I would coordinate with that realtor and say, hey, we should build up the fact that we have a closing that we're going to do together. So in the morning, I would post something like, so excited, can't wait to uh, you know, help my clients out, uh, going to uh, be a great day, and I would tag the realtor. And then the realtor would do the same thing. Uh, about to go to closing for one of my favorite clients. Uh, can't wait to have breakfast with my boy Larry and tag me. And then when we take the picture together in the closing, we would both take a picture, we would both post the picture, we would tag each other, we would share in the same groups or whatever, and basically, it, as a team, kind of make one event a bigger deal, right? And uh, you get more eyes, more exposures, um, exposure, you know, of course, my people would see the realtor's information, and the, uh, you know, the realtor would, uh, people would see my information, yada, yada, yada. It's a crossover. Right now, imagine if you do that with like a four-man team, or a ten-man team, or a twenty-man team, or whatever. I guarantee you, there's people out there, especially some sales gurus that I personally work with, who uses the crossover mentality or crossover uh, strategy. So learn to do that. You know, if you have real uh, referral partners that you work with, plan things out. You know, say, hey, we should talk, we should post about our event that we're going to do together uh, over the weekend or whatever. Right? Same thing with clients, same thing with, uh, you know, uh, organizations, you know, if you're a boss, if you own a company, you should get your employees, uh, you know, if you're, if you're having a good event, to do crossover posting and tag each other, and therefore, it will uh, build up the event, build up the situation, the post, the moment, whatever, right, uh, crossover, so think about that, if you guys want to do crossover with me, uh, I would be glad to uh, sit down and have a, a powwow with you guys, so, uh, Call me anytime. This is Larry the Mortgage Guy, your uh, sales director. I'm out.